Scorpio, how are you? I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a message for you, Scorpio. Okay, this could resonate if you have Scorpio placement, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, North Node, I'm getting. Please bear in mind that not every message will always resonate, so only take what does. This is going to be a free card spread with clarifiers. So please bear in mind that this could be very specific, so this may not resonate with you, so only take what does. Please be reminded that gender roles could be reversed, Scorpio. Scorpio, the Scorpio need to know at this time. Scorpio need to know at this time, please spirit. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages. Scorpio needs to know. Messages for Scorpio. Sorry, there's like noise outside. So if you can hear that, there's a crying baby. It's not my baby. There's a baby crying. So don't be alarmed. Messages for Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Ready? The chariot card. Four of Wands. High Priestess. Okay. Some of you could be heavily wool. Scorpio is a very intuitive sign. Scorpios can sometimes be psychic and they don't even know that they are, okay? There could be a very psychic energy about you at this time, Scorpio. You could be being called to use your intuition about something here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, fellow water sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius here. The hands one, Knight of Wands. I feel like there's going to, you, if you've been experiencing any sort of stagnancy here, this could be to do with your work for some of you, with the Eight of Pentacles. If you've experienced any sort of stagnancy, any sort of blockage, mental blockage here, I feel like there's going to be a real boost of forward movement here. You're going to regain some sort of passion here. This is a side note. This definitely could be to do with your work here. You could be working towards some sort of promotion or you know, a raise for some of you or working towards some sort of achievement here. With the Empress, there's going to be a lot of growth in this situation here. Okay, so that's a side note. If you've experienced any sort of blockage or not knowing how you were going to move forward, there's definitely a forward movement here. Okay, with the Chariot card, the Four of Wands, I see a lot of positive forward movement for you. For some of you, you're trying to use your intuition about a relationship here and whether to take a leap with somebody and move forward with somebody here. Clarify that chariot card, please. Six of Wands, yeah. I feel like you really want that forward movement and that success here, Scorpio. And I feel like this is definitely going to be a good move for you with that Six of Wands. You're going to get a lot of success with this forward movement here that you're looking to take. For some of you, you could be doubting your intuition here. Hi, Priestess. The Hierophant. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of... Um, higher level sort of you're tapping into your higher level sort of subconscious here three of pentacles you're trying to with the moon card in the reverse you're trying to make a conscious decision while using your intuition and your higher self here getting a bit spiritual here with the three of pentacles in the reverse this is something that you're unsure as to whether is going to work for you. You're doubting, doubting your intuition here. But with that Hierophant card, you're mentally thinking about a situation or a decision from the right space here. Don't doubt your intuition, I feel drawn to say to you. If this is regarding a relationship or some type of marriage or a higher level of commitment, I feel like this is going to turn out way better than you expect if you have any doubts over this working for you. Three of Swords is in the reverse. I don't think this is going to... If you're anticipating it being some sort of heartbreak here, I don't think it's going to end how you expect it to. For some of you, this could be work, okay? You're trying to make a decision about the workplace or what works for you, okay? But with the Three of Swords, this is not going to end badly, okay? You could have dealt with somebody in the past that could have been very self-centered, very entitled, very selfish here. And this is something that you're still dwelling on here. The fact that something didn't work in the past. This could have been with an earth sign. 
you're contemplating whether you should give up your independence here with the nine of pentacles and the three of swords in the reverse you could have dealt with a lot of heartbreak had to do a lot of healing here a lot of work on yourself with the empress card and the eight of pentacles scorpio but i feel like you're contemplating whether to give up your independence i'm speaking to a scorpio who's heavily worked on themselves four of wands death card in the reverse the five of pentacles okay some, some, someone from the past could feel unfinished business with you. As you move forward away from a person, you're taking a leap in another direction. Somebody could want to come in with some sort of communication here. This could be somebody who you have children with, somebody who you disconnected from, okay? It could have been you that decided to hold on to your independence and move away from this person. This is definitely a past life soulmate type of connection here. This person could have been resistant to change. There could have been things that this person had to release, let go of. Could be a fellow Scorpio here, Cancer, Pisces. There could have been things that this person needed to release that they were they refused to release or didn't wasn't able to for some reason in order to have this coming together. This is past energy, Six of Pentacles. This person couldn't give, so you moved away from them. Okay, this is we're going on a tangent here. But this person was unable to invest because they were invested in other things. This could have been a person that was spreading themselves too thin, could have been given to multiple things, multiple people here. But you're using your intuition and you want to move forward here. Judgment, yeah. A lot of higher, higher thinking energy, divinely led energy here, because you want success. Okay, making judgment over what's going to bring you that happiness here. With the Queen of Pentacles, a lot of stability, choosing a path. Okay, for some of you, you could have lost a lot of money in the past. This could have involved a family situation, some sort of dysfunction amongst the family, discord I'm getting. But whatever move it is, for each of you, it's going to be a very different situation. If you are contemplating and questioning your intuition, you know, your gut feeling, what is being said to you by the universe here. I get a lot of good energy suggesting you're thinking about something from a very logical space and taking the leap to move forward is actually going to bring you a lot of success here, Scorpio. You were dealing with somebody in the past that could have been resistant to change. You could have had a lot of blockages with this person here of not giving to the connection, not feeding the connection. And just, this just caused a standstill. And this has caused you, although you've healed somewhat, Scorpio, this has caused you to doubt your intuition over what could work in the future here. Do not allow the past to disrupt or disturb future opportunities it's easier said than done because i feel like this is what you want you want to make that good decision you know you want to bring in what's going to make you happy but with this hierophant and the high priestess you're being guided here for some of you could have somebody who is guiding you one of your spirit guides here who is pushing you you're being called to make a decision here you could be sent, you could have been sent some sort of gift or relationship or new job by higher powers here. And they're wanting you to take a leap now from this person in a new direction here. It will be very different for all of you. And it's going to bring you a lot of stability here. Okay, making this decision, two of wands is in the reverse. Making this decision is actually going to bring you a lot of stability here for yourself, Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio, please. Messages for Scorpio. Love, for some of you, it could pertain to a love situation. Boundaries. Healing. Yeah, there is a lot of healing. I did say that. Oops. Animals could be significant at this time. For some of you, it could be that you need to set boundaries with, boundaries with a past person. Okay, if this person is trying to head back into your life or speak to you, I feel like this is a very selfish person. And if they are coming forward, this is a side note, then I feel like it's for very um, self-centered, entitled reasons. This is a person who just does not work together with people well. This is a person who is going to be unfair. This person does not want to work with you and bring much to the table. If anything, they want to take off of you because we do have the Queen of Pentacles. They could view you as somebody who is very, very stable, 
possibly doing very well for themselves financially, energetically, very nurturing energy. Somebody with a lot to give, a lot of love to give even, a lot of energy. They like your energy here. And I feel like that's as far as it goes with that person. So you're being called to set some sort of boundaries here. Okay, concentrate on your healing. And as you do this, you're being gifted something brand new that's going to be heavily successful for you, Scorpio. That is what I have for you, Scorpio. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. But until next time, sending you love and light. I love you. Mwah.